Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm over here just surfing X and uh, seeing what's out there and I stumbled across this from D Sprinkle. Is Marjorie Taylor Greene the only member of the, the house that has any balls right now? It's sure, it's sure seeming that way. And I know I probably just pissed off a lot of people and I don't care. You know I speak my mind and I speak facts on this channel. If you don't like that, go go play on somebody else's channel. You have already abused your position by maliciously prosecuting at least 1,000 people from January 6th, but you recently announced that you're going to arrest at least 1,000 more. Let me remind everyone the manner in which you go about your January 6th prosecutions. A man named Matthew Perna, who had no criminal record, peacefully entered the Capitol through an open door on January 6th. He stayed inside roughly 20 minutes. He didn't assault anyone, not a police officer, anyone. He didn't damage any property. He fully cooperated with the FBI and eventually pled guilty to all charges. But right before his sentencing, you, Mr. Graves, asked the judge for more time to object to the pre-sentence report, by the way, while you weren't prosecuting many of the crimes in D.C. This was so that, that you could ask for at least a few more years in prison for the guy that walked around in the Capitol for 20 minutes, not assaulting anyone. Yep. And this is what you've done repeatedly, over and over, for those who've pled or have been convicted on January 6th. Well, two weeks later, Matthew Perna hung himself in his garage Mr. Graves, he was 37 years old. On March 9th, 2022, you dropped the case against Matthew Perna because he was dead. The time for weaponizing the Department of Justice needs to come to an end. And because you refuse to prosecute real criminals that are, are violating all the crimes here in Washington, D.C., and you want to talk about D.C. residents, they are victims of your abuse of power. And because of that, I am introducing articles of impeachment on you, Mr. Graves, and I yield back the remainder of my time. I just hope something comes out of this. Because uh, I'm tired of, oh, we're going to impeach this person, impeach this person, and nothing ever happens. Republicans! Listen up. We elected you to do a job. If you don't do that job, we will elect someone else. And as for all the J6 people, I hope that uh, when Trump gets re-elected, which I don't see any reason why Trump wouldn't get re-elected Unless the Democrats pull another uh, 2020. Oh, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry, YouTube. Google. All you leftist liberals out there. But, uh. When Trump gets re-elected. He should pardon every single person. That was held captive. But this J6 shit. But when we took the house. When old Kevin McCarthy was in there. We should have started our own J6 committee. And not let a single Democrat on there. But then the first person that the Republican J6 committee should have questioned right in front of Congress and everybody, was Nancy fucking Pelosi and then questioned her fucking daughter. Because if you're under the assumption that J6 was that big I word that you really can't say on this platform, you know the word I'm talking about. Starts with an I, ends with a N. 
uh, then uh, you're an idiot. But anyway, thanks for watching.